bold numbers on the back of the Bromley players doesn't help too much, does it? But here's Ben Krauhaus, and Krauhaus is through early stages of the game. Can he get a shot away? He can, but it is saved by Keeley. Been like unbelievable. Put up numbers last year for Brackley, sort of playing more as a winger for them, but like he stepped up up front as well as ah, in defence. Um, <laughs> my best Mike Cologne impression there, but um, yeah. He's sprinting down the right wing, if it found him, he would have been away. It was only Akimo was back, but here's Hartigan switching it to the right now for Barnett. In comes oh. the ball, and oh, oh, it had to. Smith worried. So it's going to be Hartigan. And he goes for goal as well. Oh, it's headed up. Him in the end with a late, late equaliser. So it's far from over. Now the ball's over the top. Beautiful ball. Here's Cheek. Michael Cheek, can he do it? What a save by Keeley. Well, it might be the only game with no goals this evening in the National League, but it's been full of drama. And here's Callum Stead. It might be about to change. Gorman off the bar. My word, still not clear, Kabamba's up, it's headed away, and surely now Bromley can clear their lines. Right in front of the visiting support, it comes in, it's whipped all the way across. Still dangerous, not being cleared yet, the ball comes back in, Keeley stretching, gets another hand to it. My word, he's making some vital saves, it's Josh Keeley, the man alone from Tottenham. Conference League Cup, formerly known as the Satanta Shield, also was known as the Bob Lord Challenge Trophy. And here comes Callum Stead charging into the box. Oh, it's gone in! Was it Callum Stead? Well, I don't think it was Callum Stead who got the last touch on it, did he? But it was Stead who's charging into the box. Right across the face of goal, and it's the simplest that happens. It's just caught it out at the far, far post. Dino's instructed those wing backs to get into those far posts. Other search engines are available as well. Uh, here's Callum Stead again. The magic man so far for Barnett. Here's Freeman. Lovely little turn. Oh, it was a bit too... Uh, didn't quite catch it right, did he, Luke Freeman? Here's Callum Stead. Finds Oroteo. Was that a, a push there on Dale Gorman? Referee's not having it. As Ashley Charles came over. Look well, linking up well. Louis Dennis. Here's Dennis now charging into the box for Bromley. Still on his feet. Keeley saves. Well, Dennis has looked bright since coming on. Oh, Luke Freeman now almost uh, found himself in the book, <laughs> didn't he? Uh, on the challenge on uh, Ashley Charles. But Charles, uh, a silky bit of footwork there came away with it. The ball's whipped in now. Acres of space. And surely it is the equaliser. And Bromley getting themselves right back into it. And I believe it's a substitute Louis Dennis with it. Home fans trying to G up their team, the men in amber. Hartigan knocks it forward, finds Callum Stead again, who's been involved in all of the positive play. Bit of skill there by Callum Stead. Back to Gorman, whips the ball in. Oh, keeper Grant was had a push this time. You can imagine what the home fans think of that one. There's been a couple in this game, hasn't there? Where so you wouldn't be surprised if they were given. Solihull Moors have beaten Ebbsfleet 3-0 as well. That's a full-time two. It's the only game still going on now in the National League. And here's Oroteo on the left-hand side. Bromley fancy this late in the day. Headed away, up and away by Coca. Louis Dennis hustling in the free kick one.